with my very super sexy and sassy co host. Hey! Look at that, Sandy Duarte. I was the same about you. With my sexy host, your best DJ Stoyan in the house, looking very pretty. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm yeah? Doing good. Beautiful How for are you. How are you? Did you bring in the good weather? I did. No, I thought it was going to be really cold and rainy, but it's actually pretty nice. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. bad. It's kind Just of the weather. How do you want? It's Friday. It's free. Now you can go drink. Well, soon. In an hour. Give me an hour. Okay. Give me an hour. So what's going on? Nothing much. We're very excited about our show today. Yes, we have a super show. Why are we? So why are we? Yeah, this is a really nice show. Because we're, we're very honored to have the. We have returning uh, casting director, producer, director, and leading acting coach, incredible Mr. Ron Leach, is in the house. Beautiful. So we're going to be doing something very interesting with him. We're all so excited to pick his brain, and, and he's just you know, in, in there and doing everything that he does and we just want to learn from him. But also he's conducting a live demonstration in the studio of his uh, proven method for on-camera auditioning and text analysis. So that's really cool. We get to learn something today. Yes, he has two of his um, graduated students Yes, in the house. we have Ryan Jeffrey along with Vienna right here. Beautiful name. Beautiful, name. beautiful name. Beautiful name. I've never name. met a Vienna, so that's really pretty. And uh, we also have the band. We have a wonderful band courtesy yes. of Blacktop Records and Ben Andrews. Ben, yes. you're the man. Thanks, buddy. We have a great band called Crossley Hunter. So yes. we're going to be performing throughout the show for yes. us. Thanks for coming in, guys. We're so glad you Yes, awesome. Mm -hmm. They were uh, doing a little bit of rehearsal before we set up shop, so they yeah. sounded great. They sound great. So I so, want to give a big shout out to Ben. Thanks, Ben. Yes. But uh, why don't we, I know we have a, a full hour, we have lots to talk about, so yeah. why don't we uh, get right into it. What's going on? Do you have anything interesting to talk about? Well, we have uh, obviously the Blue Jays are yes. off to a great start. Yes. They're 7 and 3. They won last night, so you know everybody's a Blue Jay fan, so hopefully they'll keep it going. Yeah. I, know, I know they're in tough against the Yankees and the Red Sox, but for now they're, they're doing well. Uh, NHL playoffs? Yes. We've shot in, but uh, what are you going to do? Oh, well. I watch well, a little bit. I, I'm sad. But I, I'm, really? in, I'm used to it. You know, 40 years of being a leaf I'm there. disappointed. You just got to like... So what are you going to do? But I'm a diehard, so I can't help it. Can't help it. Got to vote for the Leafs. Yeah, but yes. there's some playoffs going on. Oh, I do want to talk a little bit, obviously, you're, about you're the, the U.S. I was off the air. I'm gonna, yeah. I want to give my two cents regarding the view. Yeah, you were bitching to me. Well... I, I, because we're talk show hosts, it's our job to sort of research and look at other talk shows, and they do have a great show. Yes. Their best part of the show, I believe, is Hot Topics. Yes, they, I love the Hot Topics. They do touch on a lot of good points, but yeah. I, I do have to sort of give my two cents because I notice a lot of the times, part of their Hot Topics, all they do is bitch and complain um, and cut up other people. Not necessarily. Well, that's well, my why, point. Why do you get that opinion? Is because I watch it a lot. Is <laughs> 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 a bunch of women coming together and talking? No. There's, there's sort of like two sides. One, they uh, bitch and complain about everybody. Okay, okay. Yeah. They always give their two cents. But then what they do is they have those same guests on their show, mm -hmm. and they cut them up on the show. They berate them on the show. I don't think they really berate them. Yes, I'll give you an example. Okay. Like, like they make so much fun of Kate Gossin, but who doesn't? Okay. But then you have her on your show as a co-host. Oh, like that's a little bit of being hypocritical. Uh, but not really, because they're just talking about what's already being talked about. Okay, another it's, thing. It's, it's, it's just... Yeah. Another thing would, which leads me into my uh, personal opinions about each person. Okay, let's for break instance, it down. For instance, yesterday there they had um, they talked about Larry King. Okay. Now he's allegedly got caught cheating with his sister-in-law. <laughs> yeah, Larry King. I didn't hear that. Well, the I'm story not trying goes. To laugh, but, but the story so goes. Like, the story goes that he couldn't find his glasses, so he thought it was his wife. You're but kidding it, me? You know, no. I don't know. But come on. Okay, but anyways, he's got, got caught. Are they twins? Well, they look pretty close. Okay. And this is his eighth marriage. Okay. Okay, but... So why yeah. Okay, this is his eighth marriage. He okay. allegedly was caught cheating with the sister-in-law. Keep it in the family. Keep it in the family. <laughs> but my point is, because they're friends of Larry King, yes. they just ripped apart Jesse James for Sandra Bullock. They ripped apart Tiger Woods. Uh -huh. But they tell Larry King, they say about Larry King yesterday, Oh, well, you know, he's a great guy. I'm sure he loves everybody. It's just like, come on. Like, okay. you're going to do it for one person. Yeah, do it for everybody. Do it for everybody. And this is where I lead into Whoopi. Whoopi will not. I love not, Whoopi. Whoopi's my favorite. But listen, Whoopi will not put down her fellow actors. Yeah, she's but she, respectful. She digs hard into politicians. Why not? But I don't think that's fair. If you're going to do it for one person, do it right across the board. And please, Whoopi, get a wardrobe person. Leave her alone. Leave Whoopi alone. You okay. know what I love about Whoopi is that she doesn't no. care. She's who she is. She's proud of who she is. Well, and she's, she's beautiful from the inside out. And I just love that she's got her own style. She thinks her word is God, which it is. I don't think so. I just think she's I a do. very strong, confident woman. And I think she, she just stands out because she's who she is. Okay, let's go down the line. Now, yeah, Joy. I love, Whoopi's my favorite, and I love Joy. 
Those Joy, I like her. She's a comedian. She's, yeah. and she's, she's smart. Very sassy. She's sassy. Very yes. sarcastic. Uh, gets her back up very quickly. Yeah. She can dish it out. Yes. She has a tough time taking it. I don't think so. Oh, I, I think and so. I, and I love, honestly, I love Whoopi and, uh, and Joy together. I think they're very much on par. They're, they're on the same page. Sherry tries too hard. Sherry's cute. She's all right. She's I think she should keep hard. her sexual... Um, advances and exploitations out of the show. What? Like I think she is the most desperate woman on TV. Every show is about her trying to find a guy, <laughs> trying to find a guy, a guy, a guy. You know what? So what? She's so what? Men talk about women all the time. Well, this so might why, be. Can't, why can't she talk about her life? Elizabeth. I hate. She, it's a bad word. I can't she stand lives in her own plastic bubble. Yeah, she's just okay? too. I bet you her husband, because he's a uh, ex football player. <laughs> oh God. He has had so much fun that she doesn't know about. Uh, that's a cover and for that, yeah. What? She's a Republican to the bone, which is good. I mean, yeah. she sticks up for her party, but come on, George Bush was an absolute I know. fool. I know. Okay, but no, Elizabeth, and then jump to the last one, Grandma. I think her days are done. Don't call her Grandma. Her days are done. No, All she not. talks about is her dumb dog, Chi Chi or Cha Cha or whatever. <laughs> Give it a break there, Barbara. You know, Baba Baba Lava? Baba Lava. Baba Lava. Baba Lava. <laughs> that, this is just that's awful. My, that's my hot topics. All right. The day. I had to get that off my chest. Well, that. I just figured because they always, you know, rip everybody, it's time that they got ripped. But they, they, they do get ripped. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. By who? If you rip them on your show, you will not be on their show. I Ann Coulter so. will not be back on that show because they cannot take Ann Coulter talking back to them. I don't even know Ann Coulter is. Yes, yeah, so I do. She was here in Calgary the yes. other week and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I think that's all I'm going to say for today. Wow, did you get it out of your system? I did. I need a beer. Wow, what else do you want to talk <laughs> I about? I need a drink. Why don't, we just, why don't we play our quick PSA? Okay. And then we're going to come back and hear uh, some music from the, from the band. Right. And then we're going to go right into our... Uh, can, we, can we watch a little bit of the views? Is there any views? No, it's just better than the view. If Blue's ready, we'll uh, do the PSA and then we're going to go right to the bed. Let's do it. Perfect.